When I was a child, um, in school, I was always interested in people more than science, although I loved science as well. I just thought people are more interesting and that's where, the, that's where I want to learn. Um, I was also interested in natural medicine. For example, when, you, when I was sick and my mom would rub Vicks VapoRub on my chest and I could breathe, I thought, wow, that's amazing. You can do things yourself to improve your health. And so I started reading about herbs, vitamins, nutrients, and I ended up becoming a naturopathic physician. And so then I started working at Amen Clinics using imaging because I found that although we could help patients with natural medicine, even the best treatments didn't work if we didn't know what was going on inside their brains. And so by matching the um, imaging work we do at Amen Clinics with my love of natural medicine, I feel like I've won the jackpot. I just love what I do every day, working with patients, trying to help them um, improve their lives, improve their um, relationships with the least toxic method possible. Uh, when I help a patient uh, that's been having suicidal thoughts or depression over a long period of time, I know that that's affecting not only them, but affecting their family. For example, I have kids. You know, my oldest is 11 years old. And uh, when they're hurting, either emotionally or physically, I'm hurting. It's just, it gets in the way, you know. And um, so when I'm able to help someone that has been struggling, I f it's such a rewarding experience because I know that, I mean, your emotions and your mood, that's who you are. And if I can help someone do that, it's just, it's incredible. You know, I really have a heart for working with older adults. We're doing work with their memories and trying to help their memories. Your memories are like a treasure chest, you know, and if you lose your memories, you're losing part of who you are and you're losing that very valuable uh, piece of yourself. And over time, um, they just become a different person. This is sad for their family members. It's sad for them. The current status quo is to uh, avoid thinking about that, that maybe I have Alzheimer's or dementia, I'd rather not think about it and just put the head in the sand kind of approach. That doesn't have to be that way, especially if we can catch it early. There are many things that can be done and I've been working with the Amen Clinics and we have an approach that has been helpful for many patients, but there's many reasons why memory problems happen. The important thing is to figure out what that is. I want people to know that there really are answers and solutions now. That's my goal, that's my passion, is that to get the message out there that you don't have to uh, suffer in silence, you don't have to avoid um, thinking about Alzheimer's or dementia. It's better to check, just check, because it could be something else. Maybe it's not Alzheimer's or dementia. How do you know unless you look? That's what Dr. Amen says, and it's really true. I think it's just so sad if you don't look for a solution, because it is really losing part of who you are, and there is hope.